Hi everyone, it is a vlog star video. Okay guys, apologies because I haven't actually given you a tour of my office yet. And I actually had a comment the other day that wanted me to go into how I found my office space. So I'm probably going to make a video about that very, very soon. But in this video, I am basically setting up an area in my office. So let me pop you down. So I basically decided that I want to get into sewing again. When I first started my business, she was around, I was doing a lot of sewing. I have all the gear. So I've decided that in my office, I actually want to set up a sewing area. So I purchased this table for when I was filming my starter kit. And I realized that it actually sits quite nicely in that area. I did consider purchasing another desk that looks like the desk that I already have, but smaller. But I decided that I actually need to stop spending money because it's a really bad habit the desk that i'm talking about is this one excuse the mess but i wanted to basically purchase another desk like this but i opted out and i'm just gonna go with this desk and i am almost giving you like a mini office tour but i'm gonna give you like a proper one so in this video we are gonna be setting up my little sewing area together and then i'm gonna write a list of some extra bits that i need to get for it and then i'm gonna pop to the shop in this vlog maybe i don't know and get those extra bits just so i can finish off that little sewing area currently i have my sewing bits down here honestly having them down here does not motivate me at all to do any sewing whatsoever so the first thing i'm gonna do is get them <laughs> from where they are right now so this is my serger it's pretty heavy i haven't used this in a while I shouldn't have done that because I actually wanted to flip this table around because if you see it's got like this annoying thing here that I don't want to be like right at the front so I'm gonna turn it around this table is like not heavy at all so now I can put my serger I've got my sewing machine, which was the first thing that I ever got for my business. Um, my mum bought me this. I mean, it's not even anything special, but it's definitely served me over the years. Everything definitely needs like a bit of dusting. Next, I wanted to have like underneath the desk, like where I keep all my fabrics that i have so i've got this like plastic box and i'm hoping that the majority of my fabrics fit in there i've got another one that i could use as well but i don't want to have too much under the desk so now i'm going to collect all the fabric that i already have in this office starting off with in this box up here i actually wanted to film a video of me sewing a bucket hat and i'm gonna definitely do that especially now that i've got this sewing area sort of like set up i actually got this box from youtube thank you youtube <laughs> so this is the fabric it's kind of like a i think it's um it's cotton drill so i'm definitely gonna use that to make a hat i would love to have like frayed edges on my bucket hat but i don't think i'm that talented as of yet so i'm gonna pop that in that plastic box underneath the, the table i also have this box which has basically a bunch of like sewing bits in there as well but it's got like my rotary cutter some elastic needles more needles some size stickers thread so yeah i'm gonna have a proper like dig through this box and take out the things that aren't for sewing <laughs> but for now i'm just gonna pop that onto my sewing table in this box i also have some fabric so i'm interested to see what fabric i've got in here wow starting off oh there's loads of this i've got this like it's almost it's like a scuba material and it's in this like off-white color so guys if you have any ideas of what i could sew out of this scuba material because i've got quite a bit of it then definitely let me know also bear in mind that i do have a heat press machine so i can print like designs on it as well so i'm definitely interested in hearing some like sewing ideas and we can do some sewing together i am not like the best sewing person so we'll definitely be doing it together be like trial and error but yeah i've got some of my kai fabric this is silk so this was probably like a sample oh i've got some t-shirting fabric can definitely make something out of 
that. Then I've got some sweatshirt in fabric. So this is like looped back and it's in like a scour, like a natural color. So pop that in there. I've got the rib for that sweatshirt in fabric. I've got some more t-shirt fabric in that scour color, so that natural cotton color. This is interesting. It's like a, I don't know what to describe this fabric as. I don't really like it, to be honest. Got some more of that like t-shirt fabric as well. I'm not gonna add this because this is quite scrappy. I've got this, this fabric and it's a like swimwear type fabric. So maybe we can make some swimwear together. I feel like that would be quite cool. And I do have holidays coming up or holiday coming up. So we can make make something out of this soon that's probably the first sewing video you're gonna catch from me got like this oh, gorgeous colored again i think this is like swimwear fabric as well we could make something cute out of this too but it's really plain so i think the design would need to be quite like adventurous the rest of what's in this box is just scrap fabric so i'm gonna keep it in the box and just label the box as fabric scraps and right now my fabric box is looking like this it's looking quite full i do have another box to go through to see what fabrics in there but we're looking good so far i'm not sure what's in this box but i have labeled it as fabric on top so let's see what we have this is again another sample this is viscose i feel like we could definitely make something out of this fabric it's gorgeous it's my permanent print the rest of it is like scraps oh these are some shorts so out of my pumla fabric i've got some shorts made and that's actually it in this bag i have some thread for my serger i think i'll keep them in the bag and pop that in this box so that's what this box is looking like and it's just gonna basically sit right here i'm not actually liking the way this looks here but it will have to do i do have a cutting mat which i'm gonna put here but it's at home at the moment so i need to bring that in with me there's not much else that's for sewing in here so that's pretty much my sewing table all set up and ready to go i've seen on people's youtube channels they'll literally have like a rack on the wall where they put like their threads so i'll probably consider getting one of those maybe it just means when i do move out of this office i'll probably need to fill in <laughs> some holes so the last thing that i need to put in my sewing area is probably the chair and then i just need to buy the extension cable so that i can actually plug in my sewing machines and that's probably gonna be it for this little sewing area so my office did come with two chairs the other chair is always just like chilling over here and now that chair is sitting there and then this is like my work table so that's my work table and that's my sewing table obviously i'm gonna add the cutting mat so it actually looks like something <laughs> but for now we're looking quite good we've got a nice little sewing table and um, i'm definitely gonna sort out that box but that's our sewing table for now with our box of fabric down there i'm probably gonna put a lid on it so it doesn't get dusty ignore <laughs> guys this office yeah those things used to sit in like a box but the box broke it broke the box so i need to sort through that and just pop the lid on my fabric box and that's basically my sewing table or section all sorted out so guys i really hope you've enjoyed that little video a bit different to my typical types of video but i wanted to show you how i was setting up my sewing area if you have any suggestions of other things to add or like sorting it out a little bit more making it look a bit nicer then please let me know but yeah i really hope that you have enjoyed this little video i definitely will be giving you guys a proper office tour once i've finished sorting it out and tidied it up a bit because it's actually like a mess but yeah i don't know whether i introduced myself in this video but hi i'm teddy g i'm about to go i have a starter kit if you want to start your clothing brand definitely check it out it will be linked in my description but yeah this video is done i will catch you guys in my very next video